Well, maybe so, we will see. But um, you can see him actually going uh, full blaze over there to uh, try to find his place back onto the grid. He's due to start from 12th row on the grid. It's the second weekend in a row when Kimi Fitrencia has had uh, problems off the start uh, of a qualifying heat. So it's not exactly the uh, first time that's happened in 2023. As the drivers come off the final turn, are we going to go racing straight away? No, we're not. We're going to go around for a false start. Now, that definitely gives Kimi Fitrencia a better chance of uh, getting into position, but he's still a good half a minute behind the field. So I would not necessarily suggest for Kimi Fitrancia that this is actually going to save his race. Uh, if anything, it's just going to give the drivers a chance to uh, remind themselves how to get started in formation. But... Kimi Fitrancia, look, the drivers are already up at turn seven, and, uh, oh, sorry, up at turn six, I should say, and Kimi Fitrancia was only just going over the line, so a few problems there for him, and it's obviously going to make things uh, pretty tricky as far as uh, getting himself back into his original grid position is concerned. You could see some of uh, the drivers actually trying to uh, get uh, an overtake already, or at least trying to accelerate uh, before <laughs> the uh, yellow line onto the grid. The yellow line is the sign which you have to pass on before overtaking can be... Uh, initiated or you can move outside of your corridors and uh, in the middle of the pack it was clear that uh, some of them didn't abide by this rule and uh, let's see this time around as uh, we're gonna have the start of the race in just a moment here's the replay of what happened and the uh, first attempt of a start now the driver is gonna make their way back onto the pit lane and the grid and here we go green 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 onto the turn the first turn of the track and a good start for everybody pretty much and uh, a bit of a tussle and wheel banging on the way to the first breaking point. It seems to be going quite well for Santino Panetta, the young Argentinian. Oh, and there's problems all over the place. His drivers are trying to make sure they get through without too much incident. But it looks to me as though Lorenzo Campos has come up into the lead of the race once again. As oh. off the road, that is a retirement for the 5.38 before we've even got moving. That's Nicolas Raju for the second race in a row. So Nicolas Raju off the race circuit on the first lap again. That's uh, two races in a row now that he has uh, exited before the first lap has even been completed. So very unfortunate indeed for Nicolas Raju. And you can see that there's a lot of urgency from the academy drivers to try and make up as much progress as possible. I think that's Marius Barryberg that's there in second position now. Lisa Biard is down to fourth. We've got two cuts off of the final turn. Now that unfortunately oh. is Zain El Hamosini. And Zain El Hamosini has connected there with Alexander Uznim, the Estonian. So I'm afraid that's Uznim and El Hamosini out of the race. In fact, El Hamosini was actually trying to push start his car going in the wrong direction. Oh, very frustrating indeed. And another little kick, but uh, nothing to worry about. Uh, the uh, 5 to 18. That's Marty. Yeah, beautifully made. Hugo Marty taking the lead of this uh, qualifying heat, the first of the afternoon on Mariburg. Beautifully made by Hugo Marty. Let's uh, watch the Spaniard as he leads the way now, trying to build himself a bit of a gap already as Lisa Biar is fighting her way through. She lost a, a couple of positions in the process as uh, we have the 504 missing as well into this field. This is Alexander Ansim, unfortunately from Estonia, is the third driver already having to retire in the course of less than two laps. So Marius Barryberg is currently a race leader. Marty having gone into second position ahead of Panetta and Garzon. So Garzon was in second position at one stage, the Colombian. But Marty and Panetta managed to work their way past both of them as El Hamosini now has to watch on with his name. There goes the move from Panetta and there goes Garzon with him to displace Hugo Marty down to fourth position. And there's a lovely move from Ryotaro Sakai. So the Japanese driver Ryotaro Sakai manages to get through on Max Walton. And for the lead of the race is that. No, that's for second as Garzon now takes on Panetta. But they've got to be careful because Marius Barryberg is up front. And they want to close in on him rather than see him pull further or clear as Natizo Mabunda has got an investigation flag. I wonder if that's for something to do with the start. But certainly Natizo Mabunda out of position at the moment as Lorenzo Campos, the winner of the opening heat, finds himself all the way down in ninth position. The 546. There he is. Tuning away. He was up at the sharp end in the early stages. But then it's all kind of drifted away from there since the opening couple of races. And now we've got the 509, Santana Panetta, the Argentine, trying to make his way further forward as Hugo Marti is trying to close up on him. But Panetta wants to take on the Colombian Garzon. So there's a real South American duel going on here. As we look at the start again, now this can give us some indication as to what actually happened, how we unpick it. Because look, Campos is there in second place through turn one. There's a little bit of nudging. But what happened to Campos to drop him all the way down to ninth position? There's the move. He goes for the lead. So Campos leads briefly, 
up on the inside line. Then he gets a little bit of enticement, I think, from Hugo Marti. But look, through this point of the course, Campos is actually leading the race. I'm not sure why he suddenly found himself down in ninth position. Might be the result of a touch, maybe even slight, and uh, one of the drivers actually went, uh, two drivers went crossing the line at some point. I'll tell you number three. That might be it. Oh, that's contact. how Raju broke his car. Yeah. That's, that's uh, how Raju was out of the race. You can actually see the wheel has already come off Raju's car as he's going to coast to uh, a retirement there. But the battles up front are still going strong. Now, what happened to Campos? We're going to see what it's happened. Oh, this is what happened between El Homosini and Uznim. Yeah, different angle. And, yeah. uh, oh, they got together quite well. And, uh, it's one of those clumsy incidents, yeah. isn't it? Where you just got too many carts into too small a space. No, nobody at fault for that one. Just a racing incident. Meanwhile, we're going to see now what happened between Marty, Panetta and Garzon. Garzon, by the way, is now your race leader. So he's been systematically working his way forward to close up on Marius Barryberg. Let's go back to live pictures as Garzon leads Barryberg. And then in third is Santana Panetta. Hugo Marti has slipped about a second back. And up to fifth position in all of this has come Clara Kowalczyk. So the Polish driver, she is doing a fantastic job again. Another recovery. Five places up in P5. Watch out on the way to turn number three. This is where a lot of opportunities have been created and managed throughout the course of the first few races. There's a change for P2 with Panetta diving around the inside of Barryberg. The uh, leader of the Academy Trophy after Trenek is uh, yet to have won the race. The first two victories this morning went to Lorenzo Campos and Max Walton in this uh, particular category. But as for now, Grazon is uh, having a right ticket in his hand. Two tenths of a second from uh, Panetta and Barryberg just behind. Still a long way to go halfway through this uh, Third qualifying heat for the uh, Academy Trophy. Garzon could be a driver winner number three. Panetta Barryberg that could actually go one way or the other between uh, those youngsters of the Academy. It was so hectic this morning. If you were with us, the timing was right to get us started for this busy schedule of racing. And uh, we had sensational racing as Panetta dives around the inside. The door is open and Barryberg uh, take advantage of it. Garzon going from first to P3. In the course of one corner, unfortunately for him, he's going to have to work that one. The Colombian driver all over again as Clara Kowalczyk once again put the fastest lap in this race and she keeps on climbing, at least she tries to get close to Hugo Marti for P4. We're going to have to keep an eye on that one as well. With uh, Marti yeah, and yes, she's P4 right now. Yeah, beautifully made by Kowalczyk, who uh, went ahead of Hugo Marti, the Spanish driver, uh, just outside of your, of your picture. Now this is the battle for top three. And for the win at the end of this qualifying heat, Panetta, Barryberg, Garzon. And with order, will they see the checkered flag? They're about to conclude at lap number seven in this race. The checkered flag is uh, getting near lap number eight. And uh, as well as uh, Zayn Elmomosani picking up an indistinguishing flag, as it, see, as it seems. You can see now on the corner, Kowalczyk trying to uh, catch up with the top uh, three as around the uh, turn number four. Beautifully made by Barryberg. He's your new leader. Another one in this race. So that's really nicely done. Panetta going to come straight back at the Norwegian and squeeze him. There was Ooh. actually a little bit of paint traded there. Up to second now comes Garzon. Up to the lead comes Garzon. Sebastian Garzon absolutely going for it. And now Panetta comes back at him. This is amazing. The Academy Trophy is going out of its way to upstage both the OK and the junior category oh. races here. They are giving us so much drama. Garzon still holds second. Up to third now comes Clara Kowalczyk going wheel to wheel with Marius Barryberg. As they come down the straight, she's caught and past Marty. Now she's going to try and go into the first corner in third. She can't. Marius Barryberg holds third position for the time being. But I don't think this race is won yet. Panetta, Garzon, Barryberg and Kowalczyk have all still got a role to play. Yeah, Panetta took advantage of the battle behind him to uh, put a few meters between him and the rest. Four tenths of a second up to a half a second now. That could be an half. We're going to have one more half after this one. Panetta, Garzon, Barryberg, Kowalczyk has still something to say in this race. As a warning flag is picked up by the driver in third, Barryberg who goes for the... Oh, wow! That is brave! That, that was so brave. And now Kowalczyk tries to get the dive on Garzon. But Marius Barryberg, that is one of the bravest overtaking moves in FIA karting I have ever seen. Just going right, enough. Charging up the inside when there was barely a gap. And somehow, Marius Barryberg gets in a second position, chasing down Santino Panetta as we watch Garzal going into the final lap. And he was getting a bit frustrated with Marius Barryberg in front of him. 
But I tell you what, that move from Marius Barryberg, we have got to see that again in the highlights afterwards. Gladika Walczyk dives through now for third on Sebastian Garzon. Uh, yes, yes, she made it, actually. Up into P3. Beautiful. So what a move it was, indeed. Wow. She went, he went flying, actually. On he that absolutely turn. did, yeah. He left the deck to make that overtake. He moving now side by side again. Kowalczyk trying to keep Garris on at bay. No, you don't. She holds on to third position on the way up to the hairpin. Garris on tries again. No, you don't, says Clara Kowalczyk. I am going to hang on to third position for dear life. Into the left-hander, holding on to it a little longer. For now, it is Santino Panetta who takes the spoils of war. He comes through to grab the victory. Panetta in front of Barry Berg. Who's going to get third? It is Clara Kowalczyk in front of Garzon and Marty. Oh, wow. Brilliant racing right to the end there. And a very exciting race as Clara Kowalczyk fights all the way to third position.